You love coffee. Well, you and most of America. Today I'm showing you three ways to make your coffee habit much healthier and still delicious. I'm Robin Openshaw. I'm the green smoothie girl online and I want to say man cannot live on green smoothies alone. Today I want to show you that coffee doesn't have to make you jittery, burn you out with all the acids, and contribute to toxicity with all the crappy creamers and chemical or refined sweeteners out there. Two-thirds of Americans are drinking an average of almost two cups a day. There are some benefits to coffee, including that it really keeps your digestive system moving, it keeps your glutathione production up, that's your master antioxidant that just makes you feel energetic beyond just the caffeine, and there are liver enzyme benefits. I'm not here to convince you to be a coffee drinker, but if you already are, most of the coffee that people are drinking is just plain bad for us. So let me share with you four quick tips. Number one, make it organic. No offense to anybody who works at Starbucks, but they sell some seriously cheap, pesticide sprayed, crappy coffee products with fillers and chemicals added to their mixes and their sweeteners too. I'm sharing a link to the organic coffee on Amazon that I really like. It has hundreds of positive reviews because it's really delicious. And coffee is one of the most pesticide and herbicide sprayed crops in the world. And it's not like you wash those coffee beans, right? So buy it organic for sure, worth the money. I'm making this video partly to share it to my college daughter and her roommates because they love coffee and I'm trying to talk them out of their bad sugars and their cheap processed dairy creamers and their non-organic coffee. You're welcome to share this too with a coffee drinker you care about. Which brings me to my next tip for you, which is number two. If you like creamer, the non-dairy and the dairy creamers are really toxic. They're full of synthetic flow agents so that they don't clump in the coffee. So buy organic coconut milk. It's totally delicious in coffee. It provides incredible heart healthy fats, the medium chain fatty acids that are missing in a lot of people's diets. These are the good fats that help burn out the bad fat stores in your body. And if you heat it up a little bit, I actually like to put my mug on the flame on my stove for 30 seconds. That's so much better than the microwave because microwaving causes molecular damage to any food. Then froth it if you like steamed frothed milk. This is my coffee maker from Costco and a little bit of organic natural sweetener. Ooh, I'm feeling warm and toasty already. Yeah, you do have to open the can, but I just put the extra in a little container in my fridge and then I'm good to go. So dairy or non-dairy creamers are so full of junk. Dairy products in general are mucus forming for humans, even worse when they are as processed as those commercial creamers are. So number three, those pumps of super processed, sometimes genetically modified corn syrup sugars at the coffee shops, you know what tastes just as good? Is flavored liquid stevia. The liquid doesn't have the bitter aftertaste of the powdered stevia, and you can keep this in your purse if you travel. Just put it in double baggies in case it breaks. It doesn't have any calories, and it doesn't have any impact on your blood sugar. This one is English toffee flavored. It's my favorite. You can get mocha flavor or dark chocolate, all kinds of flavors. We'll pin links to our favorites on Amazon, along with my favorite organic coffee at the top of the comments on this video. So those are the three things that you can do to make your coffee so much healthier, the coffee, the creamer, and the sweetener. And I've got one more tip for you, and that is number four, drinking decaf isn't making you healthier. It's extra processed, it's virtually never organic, and it still has caffeine in it, just less of it. So thanks for commenting on my video and sharing it. I've pinned my favorite organic coffee and organic liquid stevia stuff from Amazon as a comment. If you enjoyed these tips, make sure you join my free video masterclass on how to eat a healthy whole foods diet so that it's delicious, it's really cheap, and it's super easy. So click the link to join this very special video class before we take it down. And I'll see you in there where we have a forum for answering your questions. The topics I've covered in the video class include 
seven foods that fight inflammation, and what foods cause inflammation, how to heal your gut with food, how to eat super healthy, super cheap, how to beat your food addictions in four days, and how to bring your partner and kids along as you make healthy changes. I hope this makes your life better. It's sure to make your coffee better. I'm the Green Smoothie Girl, and I'll see you next time.